this area needs someone who votes consistent with their values and beliefs. Uh, a lot of folk don't know how Frank votes. I do know how Frank votes. I know Frank Wolf. Frank Wolf's been a friend of mine, but he knows <laughs> uh, as much as anybody. And I've told him this face to face, so he has no, uh, you know, reason to suggest I'm talking behind his back. I've said this to his face that um, Frank is not representing uh, the uh, interests of, a, I think, a majority of his constituents, and Jeff will. Well, let me just give you a couple examples of what I'm now. Frank Wolf's role. When we had the balanced budget amendment, Frank was reluctant to support it because he supported the Republican Party line. Uh, we, uh, uh, but more importantly, when George Bush was president, Frank did not want to go with PAYGO. Eliminated this responsibility to be fiscally responsible. So now he talks about this advisory commission. It's to clean up the mess that he contributed to. He voted against being fiscally responsible. Then he voted for tax cuts that were never paid for. In other words, all of the 2001 and 2003 the tax economy, cuts. The economy is stabilizing while the, while the Wall Street is, is skyrocketing, uh, which does help people's 401k, is because of the stimulus bill that the Obama administration put in. But it's not something they wanted to do. It's because of policies that were misdirected, every single one of which Frank Wolf voted for. So don't let him get away with this fiscal advisory commission stuff. All of a sudden, I want to study this because it's a problem. The pro you know, he, we can identify the problem, and it is him <laughs> and, his, and his colleagues who consistently voted that way. He, he, uh, he consistently voted for the Iraq war, even though even when it was clear that there was no real justification, Iraq didn't have weapons of mass destruction, they were not a threat to the United States anyways, he voted for it. Uh, he, and um, he's voted for, he voted for the $900 billion of Medicare Part D, which was never paid for. This deficit situation is as much his doing as anybody else's, and he ought to be held accountable for it by his constraints. Frank's votes, despite his lip rhetoric, his votes have been fiscally irresponsible, uh, and I don't think on the, on the major votes that he has voted consistently with the interests of this district. That's why I'm here.